Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I made a special gun that I've been wanting to make for a while. I just couldn't get the right design for it, but in this episode, I made the bolt action Dunkel Carbine. Now, this gun takes 306, I think, 30 odd six. But yeah, so this gun is a magazine fed bolt action sniper rifle that was made in British during, I'm not sure what war it was, and, uh, I can't remember, but yeah, something to do with jungles, but yeah, the jungle carbine is a really nice gun, never had any flaws with it, other than sometimes the magazine well does like to break, but yeah, so, it's got its own mag release, that's really stiff, it's just kind of hard to get in there, and the bolt, and I made a very ugly scope on this. It's literally just a block with two dials on it, but it does work. Mm, my barrel just fell off. It does work, and it's got its own mounts right there. So now you've got your jungle carbine with the scope, but it does get pretty close to the bolt so I recommend just pulling it down like that and not oh my bad and not like this because then it'll just smash in and probably pull the scope off like I just did but yeah so now I did make it so you can chamber this round pop that in now it is a little tedious to get it in the right position you kind of have to fiddle with the magazine but it does go in and I broke the limiter to the thing, so it'll probably just keep out. It probably did that because it, this is what pushes the round into place. It probably just broke off of the bolt, but yeah. Um, I could take off the bolt to show you guys, but yeah. So we've got the hammer kind of firing pin, the bolt obviously, and the bolt catch. And the, I don't know why, but I just like the way this bolt looks with the slanted cheese slopes. But yeah, so as you see, it fits perfectly in the chamber. But yeah, so bolt back in. Now, I did have some issues with this part. It would always pop off because when I put the limiter on, some of the times it would actually just smash and go up pushing this case off but that wouldn't be good if i had my scope because then it would fall off and shatter but yeah uh yeah i don't think this is gonna work it worked Ooh. yeah it got in nothing's broken yeah but there's just something with this rifle that i like a lot i don't know if it's the stock the barrel this plates, I don't know, but I really like this gun, so I'm gonna just take the magazine out as I do with most of my guns going through the review. Now, you can actually see through these iron sights. I can't line it up, it's even hard for me to see it because with these mounts, I tried to make them see through so I could use my scope and my iron sights at the same time. Now, usually these sights are elevated at this front. But because of the little, the like, I've only got four studs to work with between the barrel, or the chamber, and the bolt. So I just had to go with standard plates. But now I did have one of, four of these, which would line up, but I couldn't find it. I know I had it, but I just used a cheese slope as a replacement. Works just as good to keep the sight in place. Yeah, I can't find it. <laughs> But yeah, so if you look closely, you can see that this is only three studs, while this is four. I did that on purpose. I'm going to just break it off, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I did that on purpose to make the... I don't know, it's just the geometry. I wanted it to look really cool and look like the real thing. But yeah, so three, four. You can really see a difference right there. But yeah, so 
I just used some jumper plates right there to line it up with the four stud length. But yeah, so bolt action, magazine fed gun. Now, I really like this gun because I'm not sure if it is, but in the gun, The Last of Us Part 2 that Dina has, it looks exactly like this thing. Magazine fed, bolt action, sniper rifle, but yeah, so it had nothing to do with the gun. <laughs> but yeah, so really like this gun. And usually with most of my guns, I like the bolts to be like super easy to move. But I made this one stiff, and I really like it stiff because it just gives you the feeling that it's real. But yeah, and I did want to make a trigger guard, but there was no mounts right here because it's just slopes. But yeah, now the stock is really detailed. I used some of these little, I don't know, just little plates and smooth edges to give it that feeling. But yeah, so when you're reloading, you can either do this. Which is a slow way, but. And I just broke the limiter. But yeah. Where did that go? Probably won't be a problem. Just a shattered gun piece. It's just a cheese slope. But yeah, so. Yeah. Really cool rifle. Really realistic, as you can see. We've got the side plates, some of the uh, slopes, and. The iron sights are just cool, and I just love the way the bolt looks and cocking this gun back. But yeah, I can actually see through the sights. They're just hard to line up with the camera. There we go. I think I got it right there. I can't really see the camera. Right there. Got it. But yeah, I almost just dropped the gun. Built for tough, but yeah. So, I really like the chia slope at the end of this bolt because it kind of fits in right there. You can see that little green piece. It fits in perfectly stopping the bolt. But yeah. One last little overview. I did want to make the stock a lot thicker just to give it that girthiness, but I just wanted to get this. Whatever. It was just for decoration anyway. Oh, here we go. But yeah, I just wanted to get this video low because I was really trying to make a browning... <sighs> I forget what it was. Uh, browning high power. I was really trying to make one of those, but that's actually where I got kind of the idea to make a 4 to 3. Because that's how the gun or the, the pistol looks, but I just made this instead. I know I really bumped out. I'll probably make a browning later, not like tomorrow or anything like that, maybe later, later, but yeah. I'll probably post a picture of the actual sniper rifle for a comparison, but yeah, so I'll put the scope on one last time, so you guys can see it, Ooh, just so you guys can see it, slap that puppy on, and I'll show you what the sights look like on the scope, they're honestly terrible. Oh, right there, you can see through them. But yeah, they're honestly terrible. I just kind of... Well, um, I'm definitely keeping that in the video. That was, uh... That was a surprise. Um... I'm going to just put you back on. Don't do that again. Don't. That, uh... Did not want that to happen. Uh, what the heck? Well, I think this is the most perfect time to end this video here. Guns rebuilt. Not really. Still missing pieces. Guns totally rebuilt. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And goodbye.